Hi, Sagittarius. This is your bonus love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, so I'm saging your cards, Sagittarius, because I felt some real heavy energy when I was pre-shuffling for you guys. Um, some of you guys are going through something and you don't feel like you're going to come out of it or you're very depressed about it or this could be your person okay so let's jump into your message cards and let's see what the universe has to say for your bonus reading okay so the first card that we have is longing so i feel like some of you are longing to talk to someone you want to reach out to your person you may be looking for an explanation this person could have walked away from you um, or you guys could be arguing about something because we have toxicity and we also have third party energy here. So you could have found out your person was being deceptive um, or you haven't talked to your person for quite some time and you're wanting to know where they are, what they're doing, who they're with. Okay. Now, I also see clarity, retreat. And secrets so it's something that's going on here but you're gonna get clarity about this situation Sagittarius and I feel like you're not going to rest or feel better until you do somebody retreated it's like they went into um, I'm picking up the energy that this person went into hermit mode and they have something that they're hiding or someone rather because we do have third party energy here so i feel like your person is hiding someone or they don't want you to know that they're still dealing with someone that they possibly told you they left this person and you may find out that they're still talking to them or still seeing them yeah but um the universe is saying you're going to get clarity clarity on this situation so let's just jump into your reading and see what's going on here because this is pretty cut and dry um, with the secrets and the toxicity and the third party and you longing to talk to this person. For some of you, you could be reaching out to this person and they're not responding or they're taking their time to respond. And it's not how they normally, it's not how they, um, they normally is with this connection and you know, something is wrong, but they're not telling you. And it's like, when you talk to them, you may ask them, you know, what's going on with them waiting for them to tell you why they're not reaching out to you like they normally do and they say it's nothing but then they may cut the conversation short or tell you like i'm gonna call you back or i'm gonna text you later and then they never do okay so i feel like you know something is going on so let's jump into your reading and let's see what the universe has to say spirit what messages do you have for sagittarius for this bonus love and relationship reading what messages do you have for Sagittarius? Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles. Ooh, we got the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Some of you are definitely dealing with an Earth sign. And they're taking their time to commit to you. Now, um, with this King of Pentacles, this is someone who is very concerned about their finances and this person could live at a distance for some of you, okay? Because we have the Eight of Wands here, or there's going to be communication that comes in unexpectedly from this person if you're waiting for them to contact you. So if you could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, or a, another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel like this person is coming in slow to let you know like where you guys stand, what their intentions are. Yeah, this person um, is... It's like you're disappointed about this situation and your heart. Some of you are heartbroken because we have the three of swords here. We also have the three of cups. So yeah, third party energy. You're heartbroken by something that you found out about and you can't seem to get over it with this five of cups. But if you turn around and look behind you, there are two cups standing in an upright position. Now, even though these three cups spilled over here, and something didn't work out the way you wanted it to or the way you expected it to, Sagittarius, I feel like there is still love to come for you. Some of you could be meeting someone new and the universe just wants you to turn around and look at what else is available. Yeah, so we have the Five of Wands and we have the High Priestess. You know this person's keeping secrets. Yeah, some of you know. Some of you could be dealing with the um, a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. 
Sagittarius. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? What messages do you have for Sagittarius? Yeah, you feel like you're going to have a missed opportunity with this person with the Four of Cups. And this, this is a burden. You're tired of dealing with this person. Um, I feel like they're just not consistent enough for you. It's like their behavior, the way they act doesn't match up with what they say it's like they tell you they're going to do something and then they don't do it and then they don't have an explanation for it i feel like you and this person you're good for um a certain amount of time and then this person pulls back it's like they pull away from you they retract they stop calling or they stop um texting you or something and you know something's going on but you don't know what it is and you're trying to get this i feel like some of you are trying to get this person to tell you what is going on and they won't and it's i feel like it's bothering you because you know it's something yeah see you're waiting you're waiting for this person to come in or you're waiting for them to show you something different with the three of wands that card flipped right out of the deck yeah, the four of swords. This person, see, they're not done. This is the thing. And they know they have to come back towards you. But I feel like they're trying to think of an excuse or something to tell you because you have questions that you need answers. Because you did have the um, clarity card come out. So I do see that after wanting to talk to this person and not really knowing what's going on with them i feel like you're going to get some clarity about the situation something that's going to make you feel better because i feel like right now you're depressed i feel like you're down um it's like when you think about this person you know that they're they're spending time with someone else like that's the way you're seeing it but they're just not telling you and then when you ask them what are they doing or what they're up to i feel like this person could be lying to you especially if they live at a distance they could be telling you that they are at work or that they're at school or that they're busy doing something when you know that they're really not yeah so we have the magician here some of you could be dealing with the gemini you feel like um this person i don't know um sagittarius i feel like you want to be able to manifest with them though in the end i feel like something's gonna work out in the end let me just put this magician over here because there's something that's going to manifest between you and this person i feel like something's gonna work out here even if you don't see it yet like you may feel like nah, there's no way that this is gonna come together like this person is not being open and honest with you but i feel like there could be something that changes between the two of you so let's see spirit what messages do you have for sagittarius I feel like if you walk away from this person or if you already have, it's going to cause them to come in towards you and show you more effort. Okay, let's see what this was that fell out. So we have the King of Wands and we have the Star card. So some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius or another fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Regardless of the Zodiac sign, with the Star card being here, you're going to have wish fulfillment with this person. And I feel like you don't see it coming. Um, especially if you're dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I feel like there's too much chemistry and passion for the both of you to let this go. Okay. Um, and like I said, some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but I feel like you think that this is over and it's not. I'm picking up the energy that, um, whoever you're dealing with, if they're dealing with someone else, they may wind up walking away from that person. But let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? What messages? Oh, yeah. All right. So, yeah. So, we have the Two of Swords. We have the Justice. Yeah, you're going to get justice in this situation. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra. But something is going to balance out here because I feel like the person that you're dealing with, whoever they're dealing with, they're not happy in this situation because we have the Nine of Wands here. So, they're on guard. I feel like they may stay with someone because they have children with them or they live with this person and they may be trying to... I did see the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles early on in the beginning of this reading. Someone may be trying to save their money or become financially stable so they can walk away from someone and come towards you. And maybe this person told you that. Maybe this person told you that they were going to do that, but you have yet to see it happen. And I feel like you're getting worried because you're wanting to know like what's going on and this person is not telling you much but i don't know i feel like something's going to change here spirit what messages do you have for sagittarius what messages do you have for sagittarius what does their person want them to know spirit what does sagittarius person want them to know 
And this may not be everyone's message, so take what resonates and leave the rest. And also flip and reverse the roles as need be, Sagittarius. We have the Ten of Pentacles here. So this person that you're dealing with, they could have a family, but they're not happy in their situation. They want to get, I feel like somebody wants to get out of their situation. You could also have a family with this person, with the Ten of Pentacles, and you're trying to make things work. And you feel like this person is not putting in enough effort. But I feel like for those of you who already have a family with this person and you're trying to make something work, it's going to come back together. It's not over. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? I keep seeing the Two of Cups. This person loves you, yeah. I keep seeing the Two of Cups here. So I have to show you guys because it keeps coming up no matter which way I shuffle. So there's a lot of love between you and this person. They, um, they're trying to figure something out. See, there was a tower moment that happened here, either between you and this person or between this person and the person that they're dealing with. So it was either a tower moment between you guys or on their end. But with the two of cups and the seven of cups this person doesn't want to leave you it's like they they know that you okay so let me just tell you how i'm seeing this there is a soulmate situation here with this two of cups okay and it's with you and your person it's like they get along with you better than they get along with this other person but they're obligated with this other situation there's a reason why they're sticking around they could be married Okay, or they could just be in some sort of long-term committed situation where there's a lot of history, um, where they've been with that person for years. And it's like they're afraid to walk away because they don't know if coming towards you um, is going to work out. It's like they're hoping that it does. They're trying to sort of figure it all out with the Seven of Cups here. So either this is you feeling this way, Sagittarius, or this is your person feeling this way about you. Like I said, flip and reverse the roles as need be. But um, this person, they still love you. They want to be with you. They just feel like they can't right now. And I feel like it's bothering you because you can't talk to this person when you want to. You can't see them when you want to. It's some sort of restricting energy here between the two of you. And I feel like it just bothers you a lot because... You don't want to move on. You want to see where this can go. And for those of you who've been with this person for quite some time and you're wondering if it's going to be fixed or if you're, if you're going to have to walk away, I see that this is going to be worked out here. Now, we do have the Emperor coming out of the deck. So some of you could be dealing with an Aries. And we have the Five of Swords. So you feel like this person is very manipulative and controlling. This is how they may come off to you because they're not telling you what they're what they want and what they're going to do with their concerns you know why i feel like this person is not telling you because i feel like this situation is going to take longer than expected to um to work out it's not going to be an overnight situation okay in order like for them to walk away from this other person it's like there's some things they have to do i feel like they have to become financially stable or there's some sort of child like this person may be going to court for um if there's children involved it's like they may be going to court for custody or child support or something and they're trying to get something figured out first and then they're going to come towards you is what i'm seeing here because i do see love here for those of you who are wondering and is going through a situation like that like this is definitely going to come back together i feel like you guys are definitely experiencing some hard times though with someone here what messages what messages do you have for sagittarius what messages do you have for sagittarius what does their person want them to know okay so this card just flipped all the way over here yeah we have the four of wands here twin flame energy so this person wants to be stable with you, but they feel like because of what they're going through right now, they can't offer you anything stable like at this moment. It's like, I feel like your person is definitely trying to handle something, but instead of them just telling you and explaining it to you, they don't feel like that's best right now because I feel like they're still confused about the situation and they don't know how it's going to work out. Yes, yeah, so we have the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Swords. 
See, this person is going to come to you and they're going to talk to you. But the the timing, it's something about timing. The timing isn't right, Sagittarius. It's like they still need to figure something out. But they are coming towards you with this Ten of Cups and with this Ace of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign, a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this person is going to come towards you. They just need to figure something out. It's like they don't really know what they're going to do but they're definitely in hermit mode so maybe you're dealing with a virgo i keep seeing the hermit card every time i shuffle spirit what messages do you have for sagittarius yeah the devil this person is okay so we did see toxicity i feel like this person feels like they're stuck to something and they're not happy in this situation okay i see this two different ways okay let me just explain how i'm seeing this i feel like whatever situation that they're in that they're trying to leave is very toxic okay with the devil here but they feel like they're chained and they're stuck and they're bonded to this person for whatever reason could be children involved could be assets that they share they could live with this person maybe they've been living with this person for quite some time and this person is the breadwinner in the situation and your person is trying to get their finances together now, I also see that this person is in a toxic situation, but they feel this strong addiction to you. They feel this strong sexual attraction or chemistry with you. Like they may feel like you're their soulmate and this other person is a karmic. Like they weren't meant to be with that other person. So they built something with them. But now since their, soul, since their soulmate have come along, which is you, now they want to walk away from this person, but they're seeing that it's not easy to do so. It's going to take some time. Oh, those cards just flipped all the way around. All right, so we have the moon. So some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. We also have the king of swords. Yeah, and the ace of pentacles. So this person may be cold and detached right now because they're handling something and this is the only way they know how to be but with this ace of pentacles i do see longevity here for you and this person so i do see them coming back in trying to make something work for some of you could definitely be an earth sign here um virgo Taurus, capricorn because there were a lot of pentacles in this reading but that ace of pentacles that's something being gifted to you by the universe so it's like the universe is saying you belong with this person sagittarius but you have to give them a chance to fix this i mean you don't have to but if you want to be with them this is going to require your patience and it may be something that you don't have you may be trying to figure out like how am i going to sit and be patient with this person because you may feel like you know you've been patient or you've been waiting around you know long enough but I feel like someone is really now wanting to come towards you, but they feel like they have to get out of a situation first before they come towards you. And they feel like it's it's not easy. It's not going to be an easy situation here, but they are coming in. Okay. So those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading. I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at my cards never lie to row i'm also on tiktok at the empress 522 and i will talk to you guys next time bye